ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. I don't know if I remember correctly. Our canyon lies about three miles down in the valley. I wonder if Sam and Amy Masters still live there. Sam Masters, great lawman, Jimmy Sammy. You're one of the greatest. Remember the first time I was in Dark Canyon? It was like Dodge City in the early days. Hardly a day went by when there wasn't a killing. Sam cleaned it up in no time at all without firing a single shot. Just goes to show what a reputation can do for a man. Sam had reputation as fastest drawn territory. There wasn't an outlaw there who would draw against him. May like to see Sam and Amy again, Kim Savvy. So would I, Tom. Let's camp down in the valley and ride in tomorrow morning. Come on, horse, Kim Savvy. Horse limb bad. Wait here, Tuttle. Don't draw. Not an outlaw. <laughs> That's a rich one, that is. This mask is on the side of the law. Yeah, so is this. What are you doing around here, Ryan? What a memory though you've got the advantage over me. I just let it stay that way. I'm willing for a man who handles his irons the way you do. Where are you heading, Ryan? Well, since both you and me are on the side of the law, <laughs> I don't mind telling you. I'm heading for a town called Dark Canyon to keep a date with a lawman who put me behind bars eight years ago. Sam Masters? Who else? I wouldn't call on him if I were you. He's still the fastest draw this side of Dodge City. Is he? We'll see about that. So happens I know something about Sam Masters that you don't. Let me up sometime, mister. Might be able to use a man like you when I get my old gang together again. So long. We'll take care of that horse. He's badly lamed. You're a bad man, Kimasabi. Why you let him go? Tyler, we said he was getting his old gang together. I thought if we gave him enough rope, he might hang them all. But him gunning for Sam Masters. Uh, he's on a lame horse. He can't get there as fast as we can. What bothers me is he knows something about Sam that we don't. Well, what could it be, Kimisabe? Let's find out, Tonto. Sam Masters, is that a promise made is a promise kept. Now, Amy, you old range critter, you you know doggone well I keep my promises. Sure you do, but when? You've been promising me for 20 years. Amy, darling, just bide your time. One of these days we're gonna give up marshalling and get us a little ranch our own. Bide my time, cat's foot. Well, I can't go to ranch until they get somebody to take my place. You know that. Will you just be patient? It's myself I'm thinking of. Well, you don't need to fret about me. Oh, I ain't written. Not a bit of it. Just as leaf have a husband with a hole in his head as one without. We'll get that ranch, Amy. And it won't be long now, either. Make it soon, Sam. Just make it soon. Soon, Amy. Now, who could that be? My soul and body, the Lone Ranger. Nice to see you again, Amy. It's been a long time. Eight mortal years, and I look every day of it. <laughs> Sam, how are you? Fine, mister, just fine. Where's Tonto? Well, he's in town. Sit down. I'll fry you up some cake. Just coffee, Amy. Sam, I ran into a friend of yours. Oh? Gil Ryan. Gil Ryan? He's out of prison and gunning for you. Well, I reckon I can still handle riffraff like Gil Ryan. I doesn't like him. Thanks for the tip, anyway. Ain't Amy looking fine now? Save your lolly swoggin', Sam. I heard. Reckon Gil Ryan won't knock when he comes. Hello, Tonto. It's been a long time. Hello, Amy. Howdy, Tonto. Hello, Marshal. 
Neil Ryan out in town, Kimasabi. But they're much trouble at Joe's place. A young boy with whip. With a whip? That'll be Slim's boy, Tom. You remember Slim Ranger, Slim Bartlett. A doctor, wasn't he? That's it, until some hooligan killed him. He was a fine man, gentle as they come. Too gentle, if you ask me. Well, that's what Tom always says. Says his father was killed because he was... he was too soft. He let people push him around. Will you stop fussing, woman? Oh, hold still, will you? Not Tom, though. Oh, no, no. Toughest hombre in town. <laughs> that's what he'd like to have you believe. He's not really bad, though. Not inside, just sort of mixed up and running with the wrong crowd. You remember how he used to come around to our house every day for that handout of <laughs> cookies and apple pie when he was a little tiny? The way you acted, you'd have thought he was your own. Well, if we'd had any kids, I'd have been proud to have a boy like Tom. I just hope I can keep him on the right track. Take care, Sam. Don't you fret. Be right back. <laughs> What's wrong, Amy? Take a look at his plate. Not a bite touched since you come in. Didn't even finish his coffee. Too proud to let you see. I sense something was wrong. It's his hands. His poor old hands. So crippled up with rheumatism, he can hardly lift a cup, let alone draw a fast gun. Who knows about this? Lord, I don't know. Just him and me, I hope. He ain't drawed a gun in years, ain't had to. His reputation's enough. That carries him. But he's running a bluff, an all-fired bluff, and someday somebody's going to call him. Gil Ryan, maybe. It's going to be all right, Amy. He's all I've got. I know. Hello. I want you to go into town. Don't let Sam Masters out of your sight. Me understand. Climb, you dreaded coyote, climb! You could push me around like you could my paw, huh? That'll learn you. Dance, your varmint, dance! They could cause my paw was soft, I'm soft too, huh? And that goes for you too. All of you! Now listen! Don't push me around. Tom! You try to cheat me at cards, Sam. You've learned him his lesson. Go on home. Come on, kid. Let's go. Kind of hard up for friends, ain't you? Meaning what, Marshal? Meaning it's a sad day when Slim's boy has to turn to skunks for friends. Your dad would be kind of ashamed if he knew who you was running with. Don't try it, Luke. I can draw seven times to your one. You know it. Now get. Get out to my place. I'm expecting Gil Ryan any day now. Okay. Get out of my way, engine. Migo, you want to sell that horse? And him not for sale, but me make trade with you. You'll find Silver behind the Marshal's office. Did you see Ryan? No, but me here, man, say him expect him. Uh, him just right off. I'll find him. I've got to find Gil Ryan before he gets to Sam. Hi, Luke. <laughs> did I scare you? Sure did, Gil. Kind of took me by surprise. Tom, this is Gil Ryan. Gil, Tom Bartlett. Look, kid, you ain't seen me. You ain't even heard of me. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Oh, Tom's all right, Gil. Sure glad to see you back. Me and the boys have got plans, big plans. They can wait. I got a plan of my own I've been waiting eight years to carry out. Yeah, I know, but listen to this. It's that gold refinery, and it's good for 50,000 at least, and it's the easiest job we've ever done. Yeah. Buenos dias, amigo. I am hungry. You give me work? Tell him to vamos. No, wait. What's your name? I cannot hear. I hear nothing. Can't you? I wonder. I don't get him, but his voice rings a bell like I'd heard it only recently. Let's see. Gracias, gracias, amigo. Gracias, gracias. All right, Luke, move around behind him, quiet, very quiet. Tom, 
You keep his attention. Get a skillet. Find out if he knows how to cook. Ah, uh, cook? Si, sí, senor. Pablo Fernandez Lopez is best cook in all world. All right, Luke. Take out your gun. Lift it up over his head. Uh, senor, senor, you like tortillas, enchiladas, chilulianos? Never have you tasted such riano. All right, Luke. When I say go, hit him. Hard. Uh, please, senor, I cook for you. All right, he's on the level. You know, he's just what we need around here. A cook who can't hear anything and speaks very little English. Tell him to rustle us up some grub, Tom. Uh, gracias, amigo. Gracias. All right, Luke. Now you can shoot off your mouth. What's this about sticking up a gold refinery? That's how it happened, Sam. I had a difficult time convincing them I was a poor Mexican who was stone deaf. After that, they talked freely about robbing the gold refinery tomorrow morning. Good work, Ranger. Won't they be surprised to find us there waiting for them? Better let Tonto and me handle the ambush. Amy told us about your hands. So you think I'm too old and decrepit to be of any use, is that it? Not at all, Sam. You're the key man in this operation. That's why you should stay here in town, right outside your office where everyone can see you. That way, they won't know what we're up to at the refinery. Maybe I am old and decrepit, I can take that, but what sticks in my craw is young Tom. Son of the best friend a man ever had. A kid that Amy and I raised like he was our very own. Slim's boy. Don't worry about Slim's boy. I'll keep him out of this, I promise. Now, Sam, I'll take the keys to your office. Tell Ryan, him say you come quick. Ryan? What's he want? Him in plenty of trouble and want you. Come with me. Well, Indian? Sorry, Tom. This is necessary. Tom, open the cell. Now, give me your gun belt. Who are you, huh? Where's Gil Ryan? All right, now, what's the big idea? Hey, senor, you like enchiladas, tortillas, tacos, eh? You, you're the, the Mexican. That's right. Why, you're full of the low-down, double-crossing tricks. Why, you spied on us, you double-crossing outlaw. Not an outlaw, Tom. But who are you to be talking about outlaws? You're on your way to becoming the same kind of a hoodlum that killed your father. Now, look, if you leave my father out of this, you understand. You got no business locking me up. I'm locking you up for your own good. One night in jail is better than ten years in prison. Ain't nobody gonna keep me in here, you understand? I'll get out. Think it over, Tom. And when you do, you'll find you're on the same side of the law as Sam and I. The only side of the law that Slim's boy should ever be on. Now into the cell. Kid? No, I couldn't find him no place, Gil. He must have turned a little livered on us and run out. Yeah, and he probably ratted on us to the marshal, too. No, I don't think so. If he had, that marshal be down at the refinery now. Well, he ain't. He's a setting right out in front of his office, just like always. Just the same, I don't like the looks of it. It could be a trap. So I'm putting you in charge of the raid, Luke. Me? Well, what about you? If this is a trap, I'm going to take the cheese out of it right now. I've been waiting eight long years for this. This might be my chance. I'll meet you here later. All right, Gil. Ah! Let's go, man. Ah! Uh, 
There's the Dark Canyon gold we're finding. I have three of Sam's deputies hidden in the brush to the left of the building. I wonder where Gil Ryan and his men are. They should be here by now. I can't understand what's holding them up. I may hope they're not suspecting anything, Kim Savvy. What do you mean, Kim Stanley? Gil Ryan isn't with them. Sam Master. He's probably looking down Gil's gun barrel right now, if he ain't already dead. Take care of him, Tom. Watch that gold. You, get down. Go on. Setting out in the sun. Well, that's interesting. Hey, Leif, how about some breakfast, huh? You know I'm kind of hungry. Well, lick some salt and you'll be thirsty. Well, you know something, Leif? I am thirsty. Well, just dead thirsty to hungry. Okay, Leif, just what? take it easy. All I want is out. I don't get you on it. See, you saved me the trouble. If I'd have known where to find you, I'd have been here sooner. It ain't legal for an ex-convict to carry guns in this town, so I'll be taking yours. Hand them over. Hold it, Sam. I can outdraw you seven to one, Gil, and you know it. Not anymore, you can. I know about your hands. Then why don't you draw? Go on. Try it. I'll draw. When I'm good and ready, Sam. First, I want to see you sweat, like I've been sweating for eight long years. I'll draw at the count of eight. Are you ready? Are you sweating good and hard, Sam? One, two, every second a year, Sam. Three, four. I'm enjoying this, Sam. How about you? Are you happy? Five. This is the end of the line, Sam. Six. Seven. Eight. Bring him outside, Marshal. His friends are just arriving. Snap these on, will you, Tom? My hands ain't what they was. I sure will, Sam. See the United States government. They're gonna get it too, thanks to you and Tom. Sam, I, I know about your hands. Gil Ryan told us. I reckon today I learned what real courage is and what it ain't. Why, 
I've seen you stand up that far before you know it, you didn't have a chance. Well, I... I just reckon I owe you more than I can ever say. Oh, nonsense. The shoe's on the other foot. Me and Amy can go into ranching now. Seems I got a man that's fit to take my place. Uh, mister, uh, would you mind obliging me? Certainly, Sam. There you are, Tom. Now's your chance to be on the same side of the law that Sam and I are on. Adios, Sam. Good luck, Tom. Thanks, mister. You Paul would be mighty proud of your son, mighty proud. Thanks. I'll try to be fit for it. Sam. Sam, that masked man. Who is he? Him? He's just the best friend a man ever had. He's the Lone Ranger. Well, Silver! 